Hello students I am Vidhan Krishna from Vidhan English Classes Today in this video lecture part 3 in the series of narration I will acquaint you all with a very important topic that is conversion of direct into indirect speech assertive sentence case so without wasting any time let's get started first of all let me share with you all what is assertive sentence students an assertive sentence is a sentence which declares a statement feeling opinion incident belief event things facts etc in hindi we say kathatmak vakya for example i say amitabh bachchan is a veteran actor this is a fact ye tatva hai satya hai this type of sentence is kept in the category of assertive or declarative sentence now if i say rahul is an honest boy maybe it's true for me for you but for some other individual it may not be true to is tarah ki baatein agar satya hai to theek hai but agar rahul real mein sabke liye honest nahi hai tab us case mein ye mera opinion hai ki rahul is an honest boy हो सकता है सबके नजर में वो ऑनेस्ट ना हो इस तरह के सेंटेंस को एजर्टिव के कैटेगरी में रखा गया है एजर्टिव सेंटेंस कैन बी इधर एफर्मेटिव और नेगेटिव मोस्ट ऑफ द सेंटेंसेस ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज आर एजर्टिव सेंटेंसेस एजर्टिव सेंटेंस स्टार्ट्स विद अ कैपिटल लेटर एंड एंड्स विद अ फुल स्टॉप इट्स पर्पज इज टू रिले इंफॉर्मेशन the structure of assertive sentence is subject plus verb plus object example the ganga is a holy river this is a fact assertive sentence fact he is a humble man it's my opinion i am very happy today it's feeling students while changing direct speech into indirect speech i have already discussed in my narration part 1 and part 2 video lecture that we change tense pronoun and words related to distance and time right now i will focus on certain specific rules that we must utilize while changing assertive sentence into indirect speech while changing direct speech into indirect speech i have already discussed in my narration part 1 and part 2 video lecture that we change tense pronoun and words related to distance and time those students who have not watched my narration part 1 and narration part 2 videos can refer to my channel vidhan english classes and my videos link in my description box right now i will focus on certain specific rules that we must utilize while changing assertive sentence into indirect speech first rule is reporting verb changes as follows says to tells say to tell said to told said said replace inverted comma with that change of tense of reported speech verb is in the past said ya fir said to etc and the reported speech is not universal truth fact or change of pronoun then we will take care of change of time and distance related word like tomorrow the next day today that day 
So all these things already we have discussed. I have discussed in narration part 1 and part 2 videos. So today I will simply focus myself on conversion of uh, assertive sentence into indirect speech. Let's come to examples. Let's come. She said to me, I am playing cricket with you. She, subject, said to, reporting verb, me is here object. And in the reported speech, I am playing cricket with you now. This sentence is in present continuous. So how we will change? She will come here as it is. Said to will change into told. Me, as it is, in place of inverted comma, that. Now, I is the first person, so I will change according to subject. She is a girl, she is for girl, so she will be here. I am playing, but then continuous, it will change into past continuous. She was playing cricket with me. You is second person. It will change according to object. So, me will be coming here. Me and now is a distance related, sorry, time related word and will change into then. Now, come to the next example. Ravi said, Rahul, I started a new project. Ravi said, Rahul, I started a new project. So, Ravi is subject here, said is reporting verb and Rahul object. So, Ra Ravi said Rahul, but comma will be replaced by that. I is first person, it will change according to subject. So, Ravi is a boy, he, that he started is simple past, so had started. Simple past will change into past perfect. Had started a new project. So the final answer, final conversion would be Ravi said Rahul that he had started a new project. Now next example said we will plan a movie tomorrow. The subject here said is reporting verb. We first person will plan a movie simple future tomorrow time related word so how we will change this they as it is said there is no object as it is in place of inverted comma that we is first person plural we will change according to the subject so we will change as they that they will into would that is simple future into would will into would they would plan a movie tomorrow will change into the next day so final in that speech sentence would be they said that they would plan a movie the next day let's consider one more example the principal said to the students the sun rises in the east. The principal subject said to will change into told, reporting verb. The student's object. The sun rises in the east, universal truth. So the final change would be the principal told, said to will change into told. The students in place of inverted comma, that. The sun rises in the east. No change in the tense because it is universal truth. So the final answer in that speech will be the principal told the students that the sun rises in the east. Let's see one more example. He says to me, I am happy. He is subject, says to, is a reporting verb. I is here, 
reported subject i am happy is in simple present tense he says to me says to will change into tells he tells me that in place of inverted comma that i first person it will change according to subject so he will come here he is happy so he tells me that he is happy so i hope uh, all of you have understood how to change assertive sentences into indirect speech that's all in today's video see you in the next video part 4 in the series of narration if you have any question or suggestion do write in the comment section if the video helped you please like and share show that other students can learn and do subscribe to get regular updates thank you for watching